Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Samsung Behold 2 using a program called Odin. Uh, if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Behold 2 procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root the Samsung Behold 2 procedure. If you haven't, there's a link right there in that first step. Go do that first, and then you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, now we need to download the Odin Flasher and the original firmware for the Behold 2. So you're going to click on this link, download that, and then extract it somewhere on your computer. Okay, once we've downloaded the uh, Flasher program, we're going to download a ROM itself. So we'll click here to get to our Behold 2 ROMs on our site. And scroll down, and you'll see one there here. Just pick whichever one you like. I'm going to use the stock one. So we click that. And it should bring us to the developer's page. And then we should be able to find the download link is right there, so we're going to click on that and download that. Okay, now we need to open the Odin program, so we're going to right click it, extract all, extract, and wait for that to extract. Okay, now that it's extracted, we can open the folder, open the folder inside that, and inside that, and now we can right click and run as administrator the Odin multi downloader. Hit yes. And once this boots up, we're going to select OPS. And we're going to select the behold2 partition.ops that came inside the same folder. And then we can go to the next step. Okay, now we need to find the ROM file that we downloaded. So here's the one that I downloaded. Extract that as well. Extract. And wait for that to finish extract. Okay, once we're done extracting the file, we're just going to open it real quick to make sure that it has a .md5 file in it. This is actually the ROM itself. So as long as we have that, we can go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to click on PDA in the Odin program, and we are going to select the file that we downloaded, the ROM, and we're going to select the .md5 file and click OK. Okay, it may say invalid file image at first, um, just wait a little bit, and you should have the, down here it should say check MD5, okay. As long as it has that, we can go to the next step. Okay, next step is we need to turn off the phone. So we'll do that. <coughs> and wait for it to turn itself off. Then once it's off, you're going to plug in the USB cable. And then while it's plugged in and it's off, we're going to hold down volume down, OK, and power at the same time until the phone says download mode. Once it says that, you can put the phone down. OK, once you've done that, the downloader program should show a little a uh, message here saying COM6 or COM whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, that means that it sees the phone. So now we can just click start and wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, once the phone reboots, you have yourself your custom ROM. Enjoy.